Hi, this is Josh Centers, KO4EMJ, with the Prepared, showing you how to use WinLink. WinLink is an amazing ham radio application that lets you send and receive emails, even if you don't have an internet connection yourself. And you can send emails to anyone in the world, receive emails from anyone in the world, whether or not they have a ham radio license. So it's very finicky to set up, but it's very well worth the effort. So my ham radio computer is a Raspberry Pi that I connect to remotely through something called VNC, which is a remote uh, desktop software. So I have my Raspberry Pi just right here, and I connect to it from my desktop computer. And you can also connect to it from an iPhone, uh, iPad, uh, any kind of smartphone, tablet, laptop, desktop, whatever, because almost everything runs VNC. So I'm going to connect to that and show you what it looks like. So this is the base Raspbian operating system running a package called build a -Pi, which is something created by KM4ACK. And you install build a -Pi and it sets all the ham radio stuff up for you. It makes things a lot easier. The very first thing you want to do is check out this software called FL Rig. FL Rig is uh, what controls your ham radio. Now you can tune it manually yourself but it works a lot better if you have the computer control it for you. It helps kind of integrate everything better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my radio and then I'm going to plug it in. Now I'm going to start FL Rig. If it looks a little wonky here, it's because I'm over a Wi-Fi connection. That's a little wonky. If everything works correctly, when you change the numbers here, it will change the numbers on your radio. So the first thing to check when you're setting up WinLink is you want to make sure your rig control is working correctly. And you might have to go into uh, configuration and change some stuff here. Like one of the things for my G90 is I had to set the baud rate. I just had to look up what the baud rate was and plug that in and then it worked just fine. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And every other piece of software that connects to your radio does it through FL Rig. So FL Rig's the first thing you want to get going. Like all this stuff, it's a bunch of small programs working together. Now I'm going to open Pat Menu. Pat is a Linux client for WinLink, and KM4ACK made this nice menu that helps automate a lot of this stuff. And uh, you want to go into Settings here, go into Current Config Settings. Now something I had a lot of trouble with at the beginning was it not connecting to the right audio device. Here in RDOP Command. I'll explain what RDOP is here in a minute, but if you see plug HW2 comma zero, that's my audio device. It's audio device two and the default's one. So it didn't work out of the box. And here in a minute, I'll show you how you fix that. So if you go back to main menu, another thing to look at is if you click find WinLink gateways and what that's gonna do is uh, you go to download gateway list and then you wait a few seconds, it's gonna download all of the WinLink gateways so it can list them for you. You don't have to, you know, manually tune around. Okay, so it has all that updated. You see it updated. And I go back to main menu. Now, the first thing you do to get started is you click Start RDOP Modem. And what that's going to do, it's going to start... Um, RDOP is a protocol for connecting to WinLink, and it's what you use uh, here it's what you use here for connecting um, over HF. And you'll notice a bunch of stuff pops up. One thing is a browser with the, uh, the interface, the graphical interface. It's all done through uh, a web browser here. Now, if you look, um, another program that opens is this RDOP GUI. And if you look down here, I scrolled up to the very top of this uh, log window. And it will tell you which cards you have. Card zero is, H, so that's the HDMI port in my Raspberry Pi. Card one is the headphone jack. And then card two is my USB audio device. So that's how you find out what your card number is. And see it says device HW2 comma one. So if you go back into the settings, and it's kind of slow, so it takes a lot of patience. But so, so I have two comma one. So that's how, I'm uh, sorry, two comma zero. So that's how you find that out and make sure you have the right thing. So I'm gonna go back to main menu. I actually set that aside for now. Now there's a thing you may be tempted to use here called PAT Auto Connect. And what that does is you set it to a certain band and it just starts 
kind of war dialing stations trying to find a connection. I don't recommend using that because it's just a lot better to uh, to manually tune into stations. You want to do all your business before you connect. So I'm going to do a couple things here just to show you what you can do with WinLink. So I'm going to go to Action and hit Compose. I'm going to send a, a message to, uh, let's see. So I'm going to send a message to Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, Nevada. He runs a great YouTube channel for ham radio preppers. And the way you send a message to another ham radio operator on WinLink is you uh, type in their call sign and then at winlink.org. So I'm just going to say hi. I'm going to type a message here. Hi, Julian. Big fan of your channel. Uh, got win working and just wanted to say hi so you want to keep your messages short because they take a long time to transfer over winlink we don't want a bunch of extra signatures and things like that i'm going to click post and that's going to send the message to my outbox so that is ready to be sent when we connect another thing we can do if we're going to pat menu i'm going to pat catalog and it shows some different services I can request over WinLink. So one of the things is news reports. We'll click that. Choose news report. I can get daily, market, money. I'm going to say daily. Click continue. Okay. It's doing something. And then you can see here in my outbox, I have that query to get the daily news report. So we have one message we're going to, we have a couple of messages we're going to send. We're going to send an email to uh, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, Nevada. And we're going to send a request for a news report. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Action, Connect. Okay, so right now I'm tuned into uh, 7.100 megahertz. So I'll just show you. Uh, you click Show RMS List. All right, and that shows you all the uh, nearby frequencies. So you click on one, and it should, when you click on it, it should tune, tune your radio into it if FL Rig is working correctly. Now, something I really recommend doing if you're having trouble establishing a Winlink connection is to turn up the volume on your radio and listen. You know, it's easy to forget when you're using these digital modes that you, you are doing stuff over radio. And while you're listening, you also should look at this R.GUI. It's going to show you state, if it picks up anything. Like if the channel is busy, if someone else is, is uh, connected, it will tell you that. It will tell you if the station is listening for a connection. So I want to listen. Right now I just hear static from the station. I'm going to go back to 7.1 megahertz. I heard something there earlier. Now, you we want to either hear silence or you want to hear the wind link noises. The more you use these digital modes, the more you learn about what the different noises sound like. So I'm going to click connect. I've had good luck with this station. And some other things I want to tell you about too. On your radio, you want a very clean signal. So you want to turn off any extra processors you have. Like if you have AGC on your radio, you want to turn that off. If you have a preamp, or anything like that, turn all that stuff off. You want the most simple, basic connection. You want to turn off anything that could distort the signal because WinLink is very sensitive to that. Another thing you want to make sure of, when you go to transmit, uh, see, now I just said channel busy. So someone's making a connection right now. I cannot connect to that right now. This is channel busy. So if you go to a mixer on the terminal, this is the also mixer. Also if you don't know an exact command, you can type tab, also mixer. Not a mixer, also mixer. All right, and this shows a GUI sort of interface. Uh, let's see. So this is on what card I'm on. Press 6 to select the sound card. And I'm going to go to device 2. That's my USB audio device. And then a uh, speaker is selected. And the speaker is what's going to output to your radio. That's what's actually going to be transmitting. Okay, if that makes sense. And so I can use arrow keys to adjust that. And you want to make sure it's not too uh, loud and it's not too quiet. And the way you tell is if you look on your radio, there is something called ALC. And if your ALC is going up, is moving at all, then you have some kind of distortion on your signal. Now, on most radios, ALC starts at zero and then goes up from there. The G90 is kind of weird. It starts at 100 
and drops down. So you don't you want to have an ALC on your radio that's uh, you know no more than one or two points. You don't want it to be uh, real high, or you may have trouble connecting or maintaining a connection. So if you have trouble with that particular aspect, if you go into also mixer on the terminal and you adjust the speaker volume, drop it down, that can help fix that. So we don't need that. Our LC is set correctly. Now I'm going to turn this back up. You might hear some noises. I'm going to click connect and that's going to send a command to my radio. And then I'm going to watch this little window down here. It says connecting to uh, WM4RB. And then on my radio, I'm seeing it transmit. I'm seeing uh, the little meter spike up. I'm going to listen for connection noises. There we go. You hear that? You hear that whistling sound? That means the RMS heard me. And now we're establishing a handshake. Ah, here we go. Connected to... WM4RB. So we've connected to the RDOP station. And now my radio and the WM4RB station are communicating. And my radio is transmitting and then receiving signal. You look up here at the RDOP GUI, see all these things happening, data acknowledgement. Now they're talking to each other. Now I just wait. It also says down here KM4, KO4EMJ has 118 minutes remaining. So most of these stations give you a, a certain amount of time you can connect each day. It's usually pretty generous. It's only like an hour or two. It's just to keep you from hogging the station too much. So we just wait for this to do its thing. And you can hear these noises. But yeah, you always want to listen to your radio and listen and hear what's happening. So now it's saying transmitting subject offset zero. So it's sending my emails. And as you can see, it's very slow, right? You usually sending an email on a broadband connection is like instant. This is very slow. It's sending it right now, it's at 20%, 29%. Very, very slow. So you, you wanna keep your messages short because you don't wanna hog time on the RMS station. And also the longer it takes to send a message, the higher the chance that it will fail or something will get corrupted. And we don't want that. So keep your messages short. Okay, so my email to Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango Nevada has been sent. Now it's sending my request for a news report. So two things to watch. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Two things to watch. Watch your RDOP GUI. See what it's saying. It will, it will let you know if you have a connection or if the channel is busy or uh, any other problems. It'll tell you if your radio is sending or not. Very useful thing to watch here. You want to see a lot of activity on this. Also watch this little black window down here. It will tell you what's happening. It'll tell you if you're transmitting. It'll tell you if you're receiving. It'll tell you if you're connected. So if you're if you're not sure if it's working, those are the two things you want to look at. And of course, listen to your radio, listen for the signals, listen for the noises, and also look on your radio itself. Make sure your ALC isn't going wonky. Make sure uh, you're actually transmitting. All right, now I've been disconnected. So I may not get a news report just yet. I'm going to show you what those look like. I'm going to go to my inbox and I go to Reuters Daily News. This is from the other day. And I get this nice little news briefing. Component shortage hits the U.S. harvest. Lebanon faces a new crisis. So you can keep up with the news and you can contact other people even when your internet is down. You can stay connected to the world. You can get news and weather reports and all kinds of things all through ham radio. This may seem very complicated and it is and it may seem very finicky and it is but WinLink is very much worth learning for emergency communications because you can always stay connected as long as you have a radio and some sort of antenna and you have your computer interface. And all that can be powered off the grid. You can power everything from battery and have this with you wherever you go.